Hey, what's up everybody? This is your nutritionist on the go, Kamal Deep Singh Ojala from Erudine Nutrition. Coming up next is the topic of eating eggs, chicken or fish if you are a diabetic. Okay, so generally eggs, chicken and fish, these all are regarded as pretty much safe products for a diabetic person's consumption. But is that really true? In a way it is, since they do not have any carbohydrates, see fish, chicken or eggs are very much low in carbohydrates they are very dense form of animal protein uh, this is one of the the good quality of proteins i must say if you have uh, high protein requirements in your day you should include these products in your body so if you are a vegetarian still do watch the video for your knowledge uh, but if you are a non-vegetarian and you are a diabetic we are going to discuss how much of animal protein you should be consuming let's talk about eggs a single egg is approximately 7 grams of protein and 6 grams of fats so neither the fats have a bad effect on your blood glucose level and nor the proteins until and unless you are consuming them in limitation okay so one egg that is seven grams of protein so if i have to suggest see there is not a specific line there will be different dietitians and nutritionists they will be giving you different guidelines of how much protein you should be consuming if you are not an athlete i suggest you keep your protein consumption up to 30 grams per meal okay so in that case even if you're having three meals a day okay three meals a day you will easy you can easily arrange your protein consumption up to 90 grams that is way too much for any normal person uh, a person that weighs 100 plus kgs requires 90 gram of protein if you take an idle person that is 60 kg of weight he needs 45 to 48 grams of protein in in one day that's it okay so even if you want uh, even if you are going to take 45 to 50 grams of protein along with the non-vegetarian diet try to split that total protein intake into two different meals okay so one egg one whole egg is equal to seven grams of protein and one egg white is equal to four grams of protein so by that definition you can uh, arrange your protein requirements in, in a way that in one meal you do not cross the 25 to 30 grams of protein limit that is the safe limit above that limit if you are consuming protein it will be regarded as too much protein and when you consume too much protein your body will not break that protein into amino acids and use it for muscle building and muscle repair rather when you ingest surplus of protein in your body your body will start making energy it will start convert uh, the the proteins the amino acids into atps this is not an efficient process of making energy proteins are not meant to be uh, intaken for energy that is body's last resort so that's why you need to keep your protein consumption under check okay so this was eggs so according to the theory, according to the math how much of uh, eggs can we take well, two whole eggs and two egg whites, that I say is a quite sufficient amount of protein in one particular meal. Do not try to cross that, that threshold. If you are a diabetic, uh, it will raise your blood glucose levels. Otherwise, less than this consumption, it is generally safe for you. The second we will talk about fish and we will talk about chicken. Uh, so if you talk about fish, see both fish and chicken uh, in a serving of 100 grams of fish or chicken, we are going to get approximately 20 to 25 grams of protein. Uh, now see, I recommend a 30 gram limit already, okay? And we are getting 20 to 25 grams of protein from just 100 grams. That is a very small amount to be taken uh, if we talk about uh, fish or chicken because that protein is very much concentrated. The animal protein is very much concentrated. So as per the math, what should be your limit of consuming fish or chicken if you are a diabetic? That is 100 grams. You can eat 100 grams of fish or chicken every day, 
but that should be only once in a day in one meal without the addition of any sugars now if you start frying your fish if you start frying your chicken obviously it will not have the same effect because all that high heat that you subjected to the uh, to the oil medium that you were cooking in that will significantly change the chemical composition of your food okay so do not fry do not fry your chicken you can grill it you can roast it or you can uh, prepare it in indian curry style in in tarka style that uh, the majority of the people do make sure to consume less amount of oil with it do not excess do not go excess on uh, oil with it but make sure do not eat protein all alone a little bit of oil should be with it so that's what i consider a safe limit for non vegetarian people or egg eaters who are suffering from diabetes so this should be your limit uh, go through the parameters any normal person uh, the limits are different for you someone who is into sports or is an athlete the limits are totally different for you guys and this video is specially dedicated to the diabetic people okay so i hope you guys follow the guidelines if you have any questions you can post me you can comment me uh, in in the below section if you have not yet liked my facebook or insta page please do it if you're not like my subscribe my youtube channel please do it stay tuned watch all the videos in this diabetic uh, in this diabetes playlist to get a better understanding of the topic i'll see you guys next time